Hey guys, it's Kevin. Uh, today we're going to show you how to replace the printhead for Epson OfficeJet Pro, uh, either uh, it's 8000 series. So it's either like A022 or the A028, A025. They're the same thing. You can see this is A028 and uh, only difference is from A022 is uh, their uh, scanner's color a little bit different. HP is a special uh, driver bit. Uh, you can search the internet for T10 and you want to get a longer, pretty long one. If you don't have those uh, screwdrivers and uh, you don't want to look around, and uh, you can just directly go to bchtechnology.com and just for search for a screwdriver. Uh, those two are the same thing, uh, just one of them has a handle. Um, you probably going to need the S6 screw, uh, screw drive driver bit later uh, when you do the internal parts, but today we're going to use a T10. We're going to remove a total of 8 screws from the top. If you can't find the 8th one, you can just uh, lift up the cover a little bit, and uh, you're going to find uh, where the 8th one is. Actually, it's hiding right here. Now we're going to work on this uh, scanner hinge. Use a screwdriver to push it forward, I mean towards the front of the printer. It should come out pretty easily. Now the scanner can fall backwards, so we uh, use another printer to stop it. On the back, you're going to see there are four screws in a row. The cover can be totally lifted, but we don't want to do it right now. See, there are two cables on the left side, and uh, we, don't, we don't want to disconnect those cables and uh, just keep those cables there and uh, we, we can work on the right side. Keep the left side on and uh, lift the right side and uh, stick a screwdriver underneath. Now you can see two big springs. We're going to remove those. Now it's a good time to put your safety glasses on. It might hit your eye when you remove them. I don't want a uh, loss of viewers because they are blind. You can use a long nose uh, plier to this. But if you have a piece of steel wire that you can make a jig and or like a coat hangers thing and uh, it's better to use to make a jig. Use the jig to hook it and use your finger to push it to the right side and uh, the thing come out easily. It's easy to lose it than remove it. Put it somewhere safe or be hard to find it at your home or on the BCH website. Okay, let me try to find it. Okay, we go to printer parts and uh, HP, oh, where it is. Oh, it's a belong to a printed carriage. And uh, here they are, uh, we sell them by pairs. Again, hook, push to the right, remove. Now you can lift the printhead and uh, disconnect those cables. Uh, now I shoot from the left side so you can have a better view. You don't need any special tools to put those cables in. Uh, just press evenly and uh, it should go in pretty easily. Uh, this is what it looks like after it's done. Now we need to worry about this cable. And this is a, a timing encoding strip. It should sit on the sensor like this. Uh, let me give you a better example. Uh, this is the sensor. It has a base and then it has the top parts read the encoder. And, uh, and this encoder belt should go through the center just like this. So tuck it in. Now use your jig to pull it all the way and then you kind of twist it and it will lock itself in. Oops. Again, pull it all the way and then twist. Okay, the rest is easy. Uh, put the four screws in the back and uh, then eight screws on top and uh, close the scanner. Sorry about the noise. That's a 14 wheeler delivering another pilot of OfficeJet Pro A022. I found a way to unclog those really easily, so I bought a couple pallets of uh, clogged bad ones, so we can have an unclogging party later. So next video we're going to uh, unclogging those uh, office jets. This is the view from my office. The bird sings beautifully. Oh, that thing, uh, that's SpaceX. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally, Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.